What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmiston here from Schwartz Edmiston Web Design. In today's video, I'm gonna be speed building this pricing table that has a monthly and annually pricing toggle. When this person reached out and told me that he needed some pricing tables, I immediately knew that I was gonna be using CSS from my course custom layouts in Squarespace because I have a module in there called boxed content and it's perfect for creating equal height boxes, which is exactly what a pricing table is. So he sent me all of his content and uh, right here, I'm just dragging and dropping in the content and changing the heading sizes appropriately. He has three different pricing tiers that he wants. He has a free pricing tier, a premium member pricing tier, and a featured member pricing tier. But he wants different pricing based on whether they're subscribing annually or monthly. So basically he wants to offer a discount if people are subscribing annually. And so here you can see I've just applied the box content CSS. Automatically all the boxes are the same height and all of the product buttons down below align to the bottom of the boxes. So it's the perfect way to create pricing tables like this. And I'll link to the course down uh, in the description below if you're interested in checking it out and learning some cool things in Squarespace like these pricing tables. So when he told me he also not only needed the pricing tables, but he needed it to be able to toggle back and forth between monthly and annually, I knew right off the bat that I was going to be using the Accordion Tabs plugin from Squarespace Themes, and I'll link to that down in the description below because it's a really great plugin and it works perfectly for creating this type of tabbed toggle. So here I'm uploading the plugin files, uh, it's the JavaScript and the CSS for the plugin, and then I'm I'm gonna go ahead and set up the two tabs. So basically above, I have the pricing table, which is the three different options. And I have that in the monthly tab. And then down below, I'm just gonna duplicate everything that was above in the annual tab down below, except I'm gonna change out all of the pricing and I'm gonna change out the product blocks as well to correspond to the appropriate subscription product. So we have five different subscriptions that he's set up with the different pricing levels. So he has a premium member that's annually and a premium member that's monthly. And then he also has a featured member that's annually and a featured member that's priced monthly. Uh, and then the last one is the free subscription level. So you can see here as I toggle back and forth, you can see the content is updating. So it's just a matter now of going in, changing out the pricing uh, to be appropriate based on whether it's monthly or yearly and then also updating the product blocks down below to correlate to the appropriate subscription product, whether it's monthly or annually. So now that I've updated the pricing, you can really see how it updates when you toggle back and forth. And the last step is just to customize the tabs a little bit. I wanna make them look like two buttons. So I'll go ahead and just let the music roll while I make these customizations. And there you have it, the finished pricing tables. 
It's looking really good and it has the functionality of being able to toggle the pricing back and forth between the monthly and annually. And not only is the content updating uh, up above for the pricing, but the subscribe buttons are also updating based on whether the subscription product is monthly or annually priced. So it also looks great on mobile, really happy with how it looks. And the monthly and annually functionality still applies on mobile as well, which is awesome. I'm really happy with how this turned out and the client was as well. So if you need something like this, you're welcome to hire me or hopefully you can take some learnings and implement this yourself as well. All right, that's it for this video. Don't forget to check out the custom layouts in Squarespace course. I have a free training linked in the description below. Definitely worth checking out. It will open your eyes to how much more you can do in Squarespace than you think you can. And also check out the accordion tabs plugin in the link in the description below as well. It's a really cool plugin for tabbing back and forth between content and also creating drop down accordions for like frequently asked questions, for example. All right, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.